Hey folks, good afternoon. What better day to collect rainwater than on a rainy day? We're here at Almond HQ and uh, not a lot of progress here, not a lot going on. Next week, however, and whenever this video drops, offices are getting built. That is beyond exciting. Uh, can't wait to get Company Cam office built. Uh, Kid Contractor podcast brought to you by Company Cam. Company Cam Studios, whatever. Today though, we're putting in Advanced Drainage Systems pipe and draining and running rainwater to our storm or rainwater collection uh, tank. And this is beyond exciting. Let me show you here. We've got a 5,000 gallon tank. Oh, cool. How awesome is that? And so we got that buried here at the shop. And you saw a video further back in the channel about that. Right now, I just started digging out. And we're going to run this uh, dual wall uh, corrugated pipe here. We're going to elbow it up. We're going to put a clean out on it. Uh, it's gasketed, so it'll be dry. Or it's supposed to be dry. I might run some silicone around it just for fun and uh, whatever. But how cool we'll get this knocked out. I'm using today my zip level for grade uh, because it's just a short run, nothing crazy. I'm aiming for a negative dag on it. I'm aiming for negative 21. Oh man, negative 20, like perf, holy cow, on the button. So we gotta clean that out a little bit more. I'll have to nose up against that thing. But uh, that's gonna be our drain line. Oh, it's 17 feet, so I'm gonna have a drop of about one inch of fall, uh, inch and a half over 17 probably. It's a smooth wall pipe, so it's gonna conduct water really well. And it's big, it's six inches, so it's gonna conduct water really well. Uh, so we're going to uh, get that in there, we'll seal the pipe going into the chamber there. But here we go, we're gonna dig. And then Britt, on this rain day, she's out bush hogging and mowing the fields here around the shop. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, here we go. Hey folks, good afternoon, evening, morning, wherever you are. Truman Show style, great movie. Check out Truman Show sometime. Um, we are installing, as I think we started video on it yesterday, our rainwater capture project here at the shop at Almond HQ here. But we are running our downspouts on our building here. We're gonna run all 4,000 square foot of this side of the building into our 5,000 gallon advanced drainage system stormwater collection tank or rainwater collection tank. Uh, we're going to run this downspout into here, which you can see we've got it coming. I ordered some downspout adapters. They're coming yet, uh, but all this stuff's ADS, Advanced Drainage Systems product. We have our, our line run clear to the end of the building there, and then we're going to pick up those two downspouts there with a Y. A um, couple things, too, and it's uh, this is important to me anyways. We, A, have calculated our grade. We ran a string line through here to get us a nice straight run, so we painted that with pink paint or white. That's what's acceptable by... Uh, the utility protection services, at least in Ohio for sure I can say. Uh, any other colors, orange, red, yellow, those indicate other utilities and you don't wanna be spraying on a job site other utility colors. A, it's illegal, but B, it's not safe. I, sp I sprayed a 53 inch is what it ended up being, but 48 foot, 48 foot, 48 inch offset marker here. So that way when we're digging this up through here, we can always measure off of this offset marker, offset line to know, okay, we're approximately in line. So that's why I spray an offset mark. So that'll be labeled somewhere, you know, offset four foot, and that'll be painted somewhere, written on the plans, whatever the case is. We're using this Advanced Drainage Systems ADS double wall corrugated pipe. Uh, really love this stuff. I like it in stick form like this. It's a lot easier, instead of coil pipe, it's a lot easier and also as opposed to um you know coil pipe but also you could use solid pvc whatever but that's what we're using on this stuff it's really strong we really like it um use a lot of it in french drains when we use the perforated sections of it but what we like about using stick pipe versus roll pipe is it's a lot easier to address grade issues and get your pipe just perfect grade we're going to run about a one percent slope over this because i don't have a lot of fall uh it's about a 95 foot run we're just going to round out to 100 for easy math uh, so about 10 inches a drop from here to there 
We're, we're gonna show you how we do all the bedding. And maybe talk about lasers and zip levels and all that stuff and uh, lay it in there. But the thing about the stick pipe is it's really easy to adjust it for grade. And then you put some nine, number nine stone back in around her, some bed it with some 57 and uh, works out real good. So uh, all those things being said, here we go. We're gonna get digging. Hello folks, we're getting and keeping rolling here. Um, actually, it reminds me, I wanna grab something to show you. A couple things on this system, being as we're harvesting rainwater. Now, if it were a system that you were going to be drinking the water, which I would uh, encourage you to check out Rain Brothers on Instagram, all they do is stormwater collection systems or rainwater collection systems for drinking water and house systems. It's crazy. Uh, that's still used a lot in Ohio. Uh, even just down the road, there's entire communities that are running on cisterns, which I had no idea. So we got a few things here I'm gonna show. We're gonna be real shallow here because we don't have a lot of drop. There's gonna be a six inch concrete pad over top of this. Uh, we got barely enough cover for a six inch pad over top of the concrete, or over top of the, tent, the pipe itself here. So uh, running on a razor's margin here for the first uh, 10 feet, but after that, we've got plenty of cover. A few things, so we're gonna elbow up into that, but this is this pipe is gasketed. So that's so there's a rubber gasket on here, which you can see, this rubber here. And then you can buy additional gaskets. If you need to cut this off and trim it, you can put additional gaskets on there. If it's not a drinking water system or whatever, you could also hit, hit it with some additional silicone if you really want to make sure it's watertight. We kind of do because I don't want groundwater getting into my, even though we're not gonna drink any of that water, theoretically, I still want to keep it pretty clean. So uh, you can see here, we're hitting that ADS woven geotextile fabric right there. Uh, that helps strengthen the whole thing. Look further back in the channel here for uh, all the shop build progress videos. Here's Pat putting some blue goo that they sent with us here uh, for the ADS install. But that's some pipe lube, gonna make it easier to uh, get your fittings on. So this will be cool. <laughs> all right, well, we'll see how it goes. Yeah. I got the easy job. Shoot, I can hang on, hang on, I can probably help you pull. Cause I got the important job of holding the camera more. You know? Yeah, I know. Okay, ready? Well, let's see if... See I know how this goes. Is, this video is important. Okay, you're right. Oh, piece of cake. Oh, this is easy, easy peasy. Look easy peasy. That. Okay, so we're right up against it. We're okay. it's even around the ring there, or you know the, the corrugated portion. And then two. Here's the ideal thing, and I'm gonna catch it and do it right this time. Green stripe up. Hot. Oh, come on, one more turn. Try to hit. Okay. I'll See turn. that there? Oh, yep. To... I'll turn. Perfect. Beautiful. So, Perfection. green stripe up, which is that ADS green stripe. And then that way your fittings, too, where they're fused together, or they have other lines, that way you know always vertical, right? So, I mean, for the internet commenters out there, yeah, I know we're off an eighth inch, but that's pretty good. And it's pretty darn watertight, too. So, that's okay. We'll fix it for the internet, Mark. Uh, I don't have a good grip on it. It's only got one hand on here. Dude, we gotta do it. Right. We gotta do it. Okay. Look at that. Boy, I tell you. That's not bad. All right, cool. So then that elbow is gonna come up. And so we cut the female end off here so that we could get it going the proper way, which is the bell housing, or you know, the female end always downstream, right? And so we gasketed that end. Looky here, perfect. And so. Um, Mark's gonna set that in there. We'll set a level or laser on it, and then um, we'll put you know do all that, and then we're gonna get some of our number nine bedding stone that my boys are doing the best they can to spread it out 40 feet wide, <laughs> and we'll get that thing bed in just perfect to the perfect fall that we want, running right to it. So here we go. <laughs>
So long story short, this is a bowl. This whole area is a depression or a bowl in here. And all that clean stone, it's a bunch of number twos in there. It holds a lot of that water. It's, it's kind of an artificial water table now. So it was sitting on those twos. Now that we busted through, it kind of humped over here in the macro. Busted through the hump. Now it's going through here. It's hitting this 57 that our whole tank is surrounded by. It's going through here. It's going through my clean out kind of like watch out pipe there. Something else to back over on this place. Yeah, look at that water go. Look how clean it is. It's you. It's it's so amazing. I mean, you saw muddy water up there, and it goes through all that stone, and then that pipe, and comes out. You know, again, clean is relative, but not full of silt and sediment and stuff. It's it's crystal clear, almost. Let's run up here real quick and see Brit's progress. And the boys four wheelers out here shredding. How's it going, Brett? Oh, it looks great. Are you uh, now a fake mason now? I'm not a mason, but it makes me feel like a mason. That looks really good, babe. What are you gonna do with the big squares? You bust one and stick it in there? Or? Uh, I yeah, I don't. I need a, I need a flat chisel thing. Yeah. Now, well, it, it'll it won't look good on the end though, right? It'll no, look but like... I watched a video on how to chisel the other oh you think side oh you think you're some kind of mason now don't you so brit's and like using everything gets grouted or... right and brit's using this sticky stone here by technic seal and site one actually is who gave this to us so check out site one go to site one tell them you saw our video that would mean a lot to us right brit yeah what's crazy is like i you always wonder like how could this go so slow but like i pick up a piece and i set it somewhere i look think about it for a second and then i go get another piece and like it really is an art. Like, there, well, yeah, masonry no is pattern, absolutely there's an art. No, like, now, I would say hardcore is this isn't real masonry. No. And even I, I would argue the veneer period is not true. I hate veneer work. I think it it's is, it's masonry. It is, I know, but like the real art of masonry is like full blown block walls, not veneer. I veneer. It's just that, it's veneer. Okay, we'll come back to you, but Brit's shooting her own YouTube video on it, or she's supposed to anyways. Okay, quick run through the shop here. This gets framed out here this coming week, which is so exciting, all the offices, whatever. I gotta wear sunglasses anymore, my old eyes are like just done with everything. But you can see, now this water's cleaning up pretty good, flowing through, but we're gonna start putting some pipe together and Paps over here cutting jug rigs. They got Geosynthetics holding this whole place together, huh, Mark? You want me to get a pair of clippers or something? Yep, I'm done. But you can see our tank is watertight, obviously, right? So, cool. Getting our pipe set in here, getting embedded, or getting it bedded in really well. Got a tracer wire on there, as you can see, which will, I'll thank my future self now. Or, I don't know, whatever. But uh, getting that nine in there real good. We're, I'm gonna go through with a shovel and just make sure it's bedded all around the bottom side of it. And uh, we got a great fall on here, an inch per 10 which is like oh what is that it's like a one and a quarter percent or something like that so but all that all this number nine used as bedding is it totally encapsulates that circle making that circle the strongest structure it can be uh because there's no void space on the underside of it which is how a circle is very strong it's like a circle because it's a circle yeah we heard about the circle yes we're Got familiar it. with shapes and uh that's real good so we're just sticking another stick in here we gotta get our, our Y going here. We're gonna cut in for our Y. So we've got this gasket at end is gonna go into our, our fitting here, our Y fitting. The female end is gonna go into that, of course. And we're gonna cut this sucker out. I'm gonna paint that.
quick update here on Brit. Now you'll have to check out Brit's YouTube video. What's it gonna be called, Brit? Sticky stone veneer installation. Okay, there you go, that's your tagline. But that's looking great, Brit. So, she got about a day wrapped up in this so far. She'll talk more about why, why it could go faster, things that are awesome about it, things that suck about it. Is there anything that sucks about it, or is it just not as awesome? There's just some things that are... No, there was something that I just didn't learn until like, recently okay that would have made it easier so. all right it's not bad i mean it makes you feel like a mason well you are you're full-blown girl power all right will you ladies carry on all right pap's out here moving stone and stuff so we're gonna get back on that i don't know what so we're we're calculating calculating our fall there goes Pat, pushing, working that bobcat. Those teeth, we just put teeth on this thing. Those are awesome. Those teeth are seriously the way to go. Been a long day here. We've got everything uh, backfilled. We're just doing some temporary buttoning up stuff here, getting things, uh, set up to where they can at least temporarily run in here we've got to get we got ordered adapters we got to get some downspout adapters so they're just sitting in here we we'll run through bed it all in this nine stone there's gonna be a whole pad of concrete out here coming out 20 feet but it just feeds right into the tank right here you can see okay awesome and then we're also going to take hydraulic cement and patch all around this I'll probably silicone around the inside uh, and get that sealed up real nice. It's amazing how well the hydraulic cement holds water. It's unbelievable, actually. But we've got it all backfilled, this, this nine. My tra- ah, crap, my tracer wire. Still got a bear. Um, so we run that tracer wire in there, so with, uh, when we buy an RD4100, which is a handheld wand, we it'll tell us how deep and how far off we are from that wire, and I put that wire on top of the pipe so we know when we dig us out for concrete where we're going to be at just got a temporary thing on there now like i said when our adapters come in we'll be in great shape beautiful evening here we're trying to so we're going to put a vacuum on the other end of this condo and this let this serve as less to don't forget to run your pull pull lines through i'm gonna get covered in ticks walking through this field this property is so bad with ticks oh my gosh been fallow for probably 30 years like mowed maybe once in a while so it's like tick heaven, apparently. Okay, so we're gonna try to suck that in now. Hey, kiddos. Ah. Bye, Levi. Lightning bugs. I know there's so many, and it's so cool. Yeah. Careful, careful now. Okay, here we go. That's the wildest thing. I was gonna say, Mark, I wasn't gonna stop because it was still feeding the strings. I couldn't understand you. So I was like, I need to have something pretty, I want to make sure I understood whatever. Cause I was like, well, no, it's still feeding string. So it's either wadding it all up or whatever. That is amazing. That's probably what it's doing. Mark, I lost my bet. You win. See, pap as usual. Yeah. Old bull right, young stupid bull wrong as usual. Holy I cow. I only turned the vacuum on for a second. And when you turn the blower on and with that thing lower, you know how we turned that vacuum, the yeah. vacuum on initially and it pulled something? I think it probably pulled that ball through a tight spot. Holy. Because you just blew and it was out. Wow, I can't imagine that going that fast. I thought that'd take half an hour if it was doing anything. That's wild. 
Okay, well, good call, Mark. Woo! I really didn't think. <laughs> My Harbor Freight vacuum had it in it to pull it. It goes down here three feet deep. Actually, through here it's like four feet deep or more. Well, Mark, that is just plain awesome. I didn't think it was going to do it, but there's our little tape ball right there. Pulled it right through, blew a bunch of air, water everywhere. But it blew that tape ball and sucked it through 500 foot of conduit. That's just amazing. That whole distance, that's just crazy. So, good job, Mark. You're the man. What could you spend in that hour or two, just in that one instance alone? I guarantee you, you could be on the phone for those two hours calling old clients and just saying hi, and it would turn it would turn five times the revenue of what that skid steer cost you at a minimum. And that's not hard to do, right? A thousand bucks. It might turn ten thousand bucks. But you're better off to not be doing that kind of menial crap or or delegate it to one of your people, one of your staff members, one of your team members, and you go do things that moves the company forward. Delivering equipment does not move a company forward from the owner's perspective. Sometimes it's it's cathartic, it's uh, therapeutic to you know just kind of do some of that mindless stuff. I get that, I understand, I totally do. But you need to make sure that that is not just your go to, and you just are always handling stuff. So you kind of need to be pretty conscientious of conscientious of when you're doing that stuff as like, well, I'm just escaping, or I'm just using my time poorly. 